I am going to, <laughs> this looks terrible. Um, obviously I've been working on this for a while. I just tried out some colors tonight to see what I thought. And yeah, I was trying to be creative right here with the, the blue and the swishy things and it didn't end up looking real cute. Um, and I took off the baby latches <laughs> that were right there. Um, obviously I had those on when I painted it. And I will be painting around the fish tank because I can't move that. So this is what we are working on tonight. And when I say we, I mean me and you. And we're gonna be painting it white to start with. And we'll move on from there. I needed some fuel. Well, my dad needed some sweets. So I'm having, are these not like the cutest things ever? They're the little Debbie's Easter cakes. But this year they have a butterfly. So I got one. A box for Annie and a box for Mommy. Oh, that's exactly what everyone li likes to find under the edge of the fish tank. A push pin. I don't even know. We'll just put that right there. I am using folk art home decor chocolate in sheepskin. Top tank comes off linoleum, right? Dad? I'm gonna have to put tape. That's my dog Bear. He's a border collie mix. And gosh, I've had him for thirteen years. Pretty sure. Um, he is now got some neurological problems, and so he's got he gets nystagmus sometimes. And I, I think that's right. Um, where there, his eyes flip back and forth, and so his balance isn't great either. And he's almost completely deaf, and he's almost completely blind. Um, he's healthy otherwise, <laughs> and he's happy, um, but he hangs out with my dad all the time. And he does not like it when my dad leaves him. My dad goes and sits outside in the evenings and in the mornings and drinks coffee, and he gets really mad when my dad leaves him in the house. Um, and that was him barking, letting us all know he was not happy with that comment. Not happy with my dad's choice to leave him.
Oh, please tell me I just didn't step in paint. Nope. Nope, not paint. Probably. Purple.
first two coats of white are done. I'm still not really sure what I'm going to do on the doors or something. I know I'll distress it um, once it's dry. I tried to be fancy and I did my nails with like nail strips. Yeah. Um, I will do my best to get it off. But I'm not fancy, and this is why I'm not fancy. This is why I can't have nice things. Um, and there's paint all over the floor, and I've got some kind of thing happening right here. Um, but whatever. Uh, so I'll take another video when I do more work on it. And I hope y'all are enjoying watching this mini transformation. so far. I'm trying to... It's hard to see with all the dust, but... <clears throat> trying to distress it a little bit. This is my favorite part. This little, the little metal plates or whatever they are. Now I'm just trying to get the dust off. But I did not really record all of that. Um, I started doing it and then my mom was helping me for a few minutes and she's having no part of being videotaped. So. I like it so far. It feels very plain but that's like the thing now, I don't know. And it'll match whatever we decide to go with. I like it so far. It's got the green that was there before that I really liked. It just didn't work well with everything. And so, yeah. So hopefully Sunday or Monday we will pick up a new kitchen table. And the one we have right now has worked well for us. I'll show you. Um, Right, it's covered in stuff right now because I've been cleaning and organizing. Um, long light. I've lived here for two years and I still can't find any light switches. Um, so my son's been playing with kinetic stand. Um, but see this table? It's like it was at a preschool <laughs> or, or something like that. Like it's a preschool table. I don't know how to. It's like laminate, but it's like. It is ridiculously heavy, and it's huge. It's very, 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 very blue. Um, it's not ugly by any stretch. Um, and like I said, I mean, my kids can play on it, and they never mess it up. You wipe it right off. I mean, it was literally in a preschool or something. Um, but hopefully on my, uh, Sunday or Monday, we're going to pick up a, a wooden kitchen table that has two leaves in it. And it gets to like a hundred inches long or something um, I'm really excited and I'm not sure what we're gonna paint that with so I feel like going white with that cabinet is safe pretty safe I want a pretty table that I can I don't know I want a pretty table um, and I found one for a really good price on the Facebook marketplace and I'm really hoping that it is as nice as it looks in the pictures. It looks $65. When you see this, it's going to blow your mind. There's no chairs, but we have chairs and we have benches. Um, 65 bucks. That's crazy.
So you see me like running my fingers over the cabinet here when I'm waxing. Um, one, I keep finding fuzz in the wax for some reason. It's probably on the brush or the cloth that I'm using to wipe the excess off. But the other reason is because that's really the best way to tell where there's wax because it's clear you can't see it very well and so you just run your fingers over it and you can kind of feel a difference like where there's wax and where there's not um i've done a bunch of these projects and that's the best way that i can tell you to make sure you have everything waxed is just to run your hands along it and see what you've missed 